Hi, I'm Maria Langer, and I am sitting in the cockpit of my Robinson R44 helicopter, and I'm about to fly from this field, which is in Malaga, Washington, to Quincy, Washington. The cockpit view uh, for this particular video is not available, so what I'm sharing this time is the view out the front of the helicopter as I uh, warm it up, finish warming it up, and I will be taking off right now. There I go. So what happened in this particular situation is that it was about 5.15 in the morning and I was sitting in bed with my coffee reading a book and my phone rang and it was one of my clients, my cherry drying clients in Quincy and they wanted me to come dry their orchard. Now what was unusual about this is that their contract didn't start for another eight days so I was really surprised to get this call and what made matters a little bit more challenging was that there's usually a pilot that I hired to cover this orchard and he wasn't going to arrive for another eight days. So there was nobody to cover the orchard except me. Um, that wasn't a big deal. I had nothing else to do at home. So I got dressed real quick, put my coffee in a to-go cup, went down to the helicopter, and I took off heading to Quincy. And so that's where I'm going now. And this particular video is going to give you the bird's eye tour of my flight to Quincy. I tried to go as direct as possible. Uh, I did not have the GPS coordinates for where I was going, although I did know where it was. So I kind of wandered a little bit off course before I finally uh, zeroed in on it. As you can see, it was a pretty nice looking morning. Uh, whatever storm hit that orchard was gone long before I got there. Those clouds that you see off to the um, Let's see, I guess that would be the left, which is northeast, or, or east at least. Uh, that might have been the remnants of the storm that hit the orchard. I know that that morning the clouds were moving from the west to the east. Otherwise, it's, it was a beautiful day. So I'm coming up now on the old Alcoa aluminum plant, which is now closed. This was a big employer in the area, and it was there for a long time. And I think the story that we got was that uh, the plant needed to be basically brought up to date and they decided that it was easier or better to just close the plant and use other plants that they've already got and uh, just let this one idle. So we're also coming up now on the Rock Island Dam. Rock Island is the area off to the left. It's now pretty much off camera. But this dam coming up is the Rock Island Dam. And this dam produces power mostly for that Alcoa plant, but it also pr produces power for the, uh, I believe, just the Chelan County PUD. PUD stands for Public Utility District. Um, all of our power is uh, public power and mo most of it is hydro. So we've got this particular dam here and there's a whole bunch of other dams uh, along the river. Uh, this is the only one we'll fly over. So I tried to go direct, which means that after departing my landing zone, I was climbing pretty much the whole time. Um, not climbing, you know, zoom up, but a gentle climb because I need to get over these hills in front of us. And as I get over them, we'll be going over Lower Moses Cooley, and we'll see some um, wheat fields, dry wheat farming. And uh, the sun is actually kind of nice in parts of it, and parts of it, it's going to shine in our faces. It was a really nice morning for flying, because there was hardly any wind at all. And it wasn't hot. It was nice and cool, in fact. Although, near the end of this cherry drying flight, I did have to put the air conditioning on because it was getting pretty warm in the cockpit. The road that is going uh, down below us there, um, I'm going almost due east, and that road down there is, I believe it's Route 28, and that's the road that you would take from Wenatchee or East Wenatchee to Quincy and then beyond. So I've just got enough altitude to cross over the top of these cliffs, and then I'm going to continue flying over the mouth of what they call Lower Moses Cooley. This is a pretty interesting uh, landform, and, and if you watch a couple of my other videos, uh, there's one I did with uh, Nick Zentner uh, in the Nick Over the Rock series that we did, where I, we actually fly up this canyon, and Nick talks a lot about it. 
Um, I'm not going to go off to the side. I was all business this morning. I had to uh, take the helicopter directly to the orchard. The time is of the essence when I do these helicopter flights to dry the cherries. So uh, there's no goofing around. I just, I just get there. Uh, so we're not going to take a look up there. But what's cool about this canyon is that the um, Navy, I think it's the Navy Air Base over at uh, Whidbey Island, I think that they're, it's their pilots that come tearing down that canyon and out to the river. And every once in a while, um, we get to see them. They usually fly in pairs, and it's kind, of, it's kind of neat. It's kind of scary. Every time you cross that canyon, you feel like you need to look to make sure they're not coming. Um, it doesn't really matter because what are you going to do? You can't get out of the way. They should have me on radar anyway. So this is the uh, dry land farming, uh, wheat farming that is, uh, that is uh, northwest of Quincy. And you've got some fields that have already been harvested from last year. Um, you've got some fields that are sown. You've got some fields that are plowed. I don't know very much about wheat farming, um, except that they have certain varieties that they leave in the ground over the winter, and they have certain varieties that they don't. Um, and they don't irrigate any of it because there's an awful lot of it. So this is one of the fields out there. We're going to cross another small coulee. Um, a coulee is basically a landform in the area that has been carved out by the, the most of the Ice Age floods. And again, Nick Zentner has some uh, great videos about the Ice Age floods that are really worth watching if you are interested in uh, geology and the way that the land has changed over time. So these, basically these little canyons, uh, which are dry inside now, they don't have any creeks or anything in them, um, they were carved out by the, by the flood action, you know, 15,000, whatever it was years ago, during the last ice age. So we're going to go over this, this last one, and the whole time I'm flying, I'm trying to figure out, okay, do I need to go more to the left or the right? And, and I finally kind of make little adjustments until I, I get kind of on track. Yeah, it probably would have been better if I had the coordinates in my GPS, but I haven't had to fly out to this orchard for quite a while. In fact, I think this was the first time I had dried the whole thing in maybe as much as six years. So that was kind of uh, interesting for me, and it brought back memories. Um, this particular orchard I have been working at, it's been one of my clients for uh, since I started back in 2008. So that's a really long time. So even though these folks weren't on contract yet, um, they call me to dry. I'm not busy. Of course, I'm going to hop in the helicopter and do it. They're good clients, and I want to take care of them. So at this point, I'm looking for landmarks. And I, the landmark I was looking for was a canal, a zigzag canal. And I think you can see it kind of off uh, center, almost dead center now. There's like a zigzag thing there. And I'm not sure if that's the, the one, because we'll see in a minute where I turn. The orchard is 50 acres. It has uh, stretches along the canal, so it's zigzag on one side, and it's uh, straight on the north side. Zigzag on the south, straight on the uh, north. And it has five wind machines in it. I'm pretty sure that's it coming up on the left. Yeah, I'm going to make my turn right now. You can see the canal there. It's right stretching right across the image right in front of us. And you can see that little pond that's coming into the center now. That pond is on the edge of the property. And that's where I, I'm descending now pretty sharply, getting down there, slowing down. And my goal is to start on the first row of uh, cherry trees inside that orchard next, uh, next to the pond, to the end of the pond. So I'm going to make my turn now. That image, you can't, a little dark, you can't really see it and then settle over the trees. And that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed that, something a little bit different, um, you know, like button, subscribe, all that. Share it with your friends. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And uh, take care. Be safe. Bye now.